49ers hired Anthony Lynn this past weekend to be their new assistant head coach. And, and he comes over from the Detroit Lions. Um, like you lightly mentioned with Lynn, he's a run game guy. He does use emotion. And when you look at his rushing performances when he was a head coach for the Chargers, his teams finished almost top 10, I believe, every single season under him. So this is a guy who is going to be not only focused on the run game, but is going to be a huge proponent of it and can really help take off that that load that Kyle Shanahan um, might have to, to carry. And I think one of the big things, Rob, that I'm personally most excited for and the biggest thing I'm looking for with Anthony Lynn is his leadership, which I think is second to none. And I, I'm not going to say it's something that this team was lacking necessarily, but it's not something that you, you feel when you hear Kyle Shanahan at the podium. Uh, Anthony Lynn, though, you, you can go and see the story about him um, that the NFL did a few years ago with the paramedics who saved his life. You can see some of the clips from him in the locker room, some of the mic'd up moments that he's had. This is a guy who's not only a head coach, but he is a leader of men, and he's going to add that to the San Francisco staff. No doubt about it. To me, when you look at someone as a, as a leader, yes, you have to look at their actions. Yes, you have to look at their schematics. You, you have to look at what they bring to, to the equation in that regard, but it also has to pass the eye test. To me, that is one of the, the most important aspects to evaluating leadership is, is how does it feel when they're in front of a group of men? How, how does it look when they're in front of a group of men? How does it sound when they're in front of that locker room? And if you go back and you watch Anthony Lynn, I think what jumps off the tape to me is that he is that leader of men. He does command that respect. He does have the um, the air of, of someone with I I something important to share, and people tend to, to listen to that message. So to me, that's an important factor of, of bringing in fresh blood. I thought the 49ers needed to do that in some respect. When you watch these, these very important games for the San Francisco 49ers, and you see Kyle Shanahan tighten up in some of the worst moments for the team, to me... You can't just promote someone from within and feel like things are going to change. You can't just bring up Bobby Slowick and say, oh, the vibe's going to be different the next time we're in the NFC Championship game and it's the fourth quarter and things begin to shrink on us and all of a sudden we get a little conservative. No, at that instance, you need a new voice, a fresh, fresh voice, someone who's going to be able to come in and with a certain type of confidence, do for Kyle Shanahan much what Debo Samuel does for Kyle Shanahan. Inspire confidence in the play calling. When Debo looked at Kyle and said, I got you after that turnover, I mean, Kyle knew what to do. He was inspired. He, he, he had that confidence. Again, I, I think it is having another man on the staff that, that can approach Kyle with a, a, a fresh voice, a new perspective on it, that to me is going to have an impact. But, you know, more important than that throughout the regular season is going to be, well, what are the X's and O's? And I think with Anthony Lynn, you, you touched on it. You can go back in his experience and, and watch his impact on the teams that he was with. Go back to Buffalo, where he was involved in the run game there as well, 2015, 2016. Uh, with the Chargers, very incredibly balanced offenses, uh, number one or close to it in, in the run game on several of those years, but didn't have the type of run-blocking offensive line that the San Francisco 49ers have right now, or at least had in 2021. We'll see what happens with free agency and, and everything else. But he brings you know the same sort of zone schemes that we're used to, balance between inside-outside runs, has a lot of that motion involved. To me, this was a phenomenal hire by the 49ers. I absolutely agree with that. And I think one thing that I, I kind of noticed and picked up about this hire is that Anthony Lynn does have a lot of familiarity with the Shanahan's. Yes. I think one one thing that people may have been critical of Kyle for is not, not bringing in outside coaches, right? It, or at least it's perceived that way. Most of those guys are homegrown with the 49ers. Anthony Lynn, I mean, when he retired as a player with the Broncos, he became an assistant the next season under Mike Shanahan. So this is a guy that the Shanahan's trust, but he, who can also come in and have a different voice that, that someone – 
uh, might not necessarily have, who's just a part of that Shanahan system, who's an assistant under Kyle, someone who's been with him forever, like a Mike McDaniel, right? So when you bring in an Anthony Lynn, who has been a head coach, you're obviously going to get a ton of respect from the staff. But then the way these players will look at Anthony Lynn, it's going to be much different than they even looked at Mike McDaniel, right? A, a guy who Brandon Ayuk admittedly didn't even really know who he was until this season. So it's going to be interesting to see how the scheme changes, um, what differences there are, of course. But for me, the, the thing I've been focused on and the thing I'm most excited about is the leadership and the mentality that Anthony yeah. Lynn is going to be bringing to this football franchise. <laughs>